Today, on Cooking with Nate and Chad, we're making mashed potatoes. The good kind. Not the weird mashed potato kind. The, the mashed potato kind. The flaky Hungry Jack kind. That sounds awful, but it's actually good. Because look at all these splendiferous ingredients we're going to put inside of it. Alright, so we're going to make six servings of this. And that will be three servings each. <laughs> six divided by two is three, I did math. Alright, so I'm going to need... 1.75 cups of water. Here is my measuring cauldron. Oh, just a little bit too much. I don't think that worked at all. All right, so we can make this Chad friendly. Instead of using actual milk, we have to use rice cream. We have to shake it. I'm gonna hold the tub now, and I'm gonna shake it. And it's still kind of squirting everywhere, but that's manageable. All right, so now we're gonna take it, and we're gonna measure. It's gonna use like all of the rice cream. All right, one cup. I already said like. The next step into making our awesome mashed potatoes is margarine. Three tablespoons of margarine. So it's basically just like a spoon size of tables full of margarine. All right. Instead of measuring the margarine, it's gonna take a spoonful and slap it all over. All right, so. Now, what we have to do is heat it up, obviously. All right, so. Put it on high. That's what I always do. All right, now that it's heating up, we have to wait for it to boil. Let's see if it's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> Hungry Jack time. Let's do this. Two. Ser oh, perfect amount, dude. That's the way I do it. All right. So we got our flaky potatoes here. Now it's time to enter it into our mixture of awesome. Bam! Dang, those are some flaky potatoes with other stuff. So I did all of this. It's Chad time. So, now that Nate made the potatoes, I have to season them. All right, so first we're gonna put in some olive oil. And you know, you don't really measure olive oil because it's so olivey and oily. So you just kind of go like this, and you mix it in with, I'm going to grab something else. Right here. Yeah, this works. We're going to use this big rubbery spoon and like mix in the olive oil. We're going to use some garlic salt, and we're going to kind of salt it on. Not too much. Yeah, you know. We're going to use cinnamon. Now the key with cinnamon is to not put too much in or else it gets really, really weird because it's cinnamon and it's potatoes. And cinnamon and potatoes usually don't go together unless you do it just right like this. That's too much. And then you take pepper. See, it's black peppercorn grinder. The taste you trust by McCormick. And then you go like this. And then you put this over and kind of, you know, grind it since it's a peppercorn grinder. And that's plenty of pepper. And then we take the Popcorn seasoning, all natural, no MSG white cheddar by Colonel Seasons. Smell it, and it smells like popcorn. And then you go like this. And then take the lemon juice, and you go like. And then take this Tabasco sauce. So you just gotta put a little bit in, about that much. And then take the basil leaves. This is the same thing, you don't want too much. You kinda just 
leaf it up right there. All right, now vinegar. With this, you gotta be really careful to not. <clears throat> you gotta not put too much in, or else you'll throw up. It's a lot of vinegar. Wanna see these skills? Right here. Well, got a good amount of vinegar in there. So Spam by Hormel is the most disgusting and best tasting looking meat ever. It's not the best meat, but it's the best looking, the best tasting bad looking kind. Now the Spam's nicely cut up. We don't want to add too much in because Ah, never mind. Here we go. Ugh. So these are good mashed potatoes. Glad we made them. Super duper 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 good!